Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. Oof, girl, I am having a day. My voice is a little bit shot today. My vocal steamer that I use before I film videos and after videos is completely broken. I think when we were packing and coming home from our trip to Idaho for skiing, it kind of just broke. I don't know. Today, I thought it would be a fun video to try out makeup products that you guys hate. I put out a little questionnaire on my Instagram stories and if you guys missed it, you gotta follow me on Instagram and keep up with my stories, hello. I was actually shook by some of the results and I'm excited to see if like we kind of match up. Like if I don't like the stuff that you guys say you like or don't like or whatever. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. I always like to start with my brows and for brows, actually a lot of people didn't mention brow stuff, but the few stuff that I did see was the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and I'm so so confused because I actually really like this. I don't know if maybe it's like just people not liking pomades in general or not really knowing how to use them properly. No shade, no shade. And I'm actually gonna try to do my makeup pretty good because I kind of have some more videos I wanna film after this. So we're gonna really try this video. The way I like to use it is actually put a little bit of the excess on the back of my hand here and kind of coat the brush with it so that way it's a bit easier to use. The front portion of my brow is usually pretty thick. It's more like the tail end that needs the most TLC. You guys, so we just got back from Idaho for Riley's birthday trip. It was the best skiing of my entire life. I had the best time ever and it just makes me like so eager to like travel and try different places that have skiing, you know? Okay, so I'm finished with the right brow and I honestly think it looks great. I think honestly what people don't like about it is maybe if you have a thicker brow, you're not gonna need to use a pomade or if you don't have any sparseness, you're not really gonna need to use a pomade. So I can understand why some people definitely don't like it, but for me, I like pomades. So I'm definitely gonna still continue to use this. It's so interesting to like see what people like versus what other people like. I love doing videos like this because it just like gets the, the turn, how the turntables. Well, 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 how the turntables. But yeah, it's just like, it kind of gets you thinking about products and like what's good for certain people and certain needs. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow off camera since obviously, you know, you guys have seen me do my brows a million times and then we'll get back with our eyes. All right, so I zoomed you guys on in so we can get a look at the eyeshadow and all that other stuff. So the most hated eyeshadow palette were the Urban Decay Nakeds, specifically the smoky one. This one was mentioned a lot in my DMs. As you guys can tell, I really haven't used this palette very much, like maybe only these two shades here and like the end shade. Urban Decay, like I feel like lately, I've just been really disappointed by the stuff that they been putting out it's definitely not like my cup of tea per se even going back and checking some of the quality from their other palettes I'm like damn we thought this was good back in the day <laughs> nobody mentioned at all an eyeshadow primer so and the next time I do this I think what I'm gonna do is like what's your hated eyeshadow what's your hated blah 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 rather than just saying what's your hated makeup in general so I'm just gonna use this concealer this right here is a ColourPop brush this is the ColourPop E4 so if you're interested you can use my discount code it's an ICOL at the checkout you guys get a little discount you get 10% off I get a little commission so it's a win-win for both of us bitches. All right, so what do I want to do here? I think we gotta definitely play around with the middle shades. I don't want to just do like golds because I feel like the golds are gonna be able to work regardless. My other qualm about this eyeshadow palette is there's really not a lot of transition shades up in here. It's just like dark, 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 dark. Here's a white color. I'm gonna take my ColourPop E15 brush. I'm actually gonna go in with the shade Combust and use that as a little bit of a transition shade. Isn't it so crazy how like eyeshadow palettes we used to like back in the day 
I know you guys love when I say back in the day, are just like crappy. Like if this was released now, I wonder what people would be saying about it, you know? You guys, yesterday, I swear to you, Mo is on a mission to see how he can give me a heart attack. Like I think that's his mission. I had to give him a Heimlich maneuver because I gave him a bone and I think what happened was the bone towards the end got a little bit soft and he thought he could swallow it. And I heard him like choking, wheezing. I was like, what the hell is going on? So I went over to where he was and he was like, <sighs> Like, just like crazy, crazy. Like, his eyes were so wide, so I gave him to Heimlich. Sure enough, he threw up the piece of the bone, but he still tried to swallow it again, this little sh So I, like, yanked open his mouth and just, like, grabbed the piece out. Like, I literally couldn't get any work done the rest of the day because I was so scared, like, to see if he was okay. Like, I was like, oh my god, did something rip in his throat? Like, just perks of having anxiety and overthinking. Okay, I think we honestly just have to go for it at this point. There's no other transition shades to use. I'm gonna use this ColourPop E18 brush and we're gonna go in with the color passwords. I'm gonna just like lay it in the crease. Damn, can you even see that? Here I am worried that these shades are dark. They barely have any pigment. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch brushes. Okay, so now I'm switching to a Morphe M456 and we're gonna use some of that shade again and try our best to blend it out. Wow, this palette is trash. Can you even see that, you guys? Like, it blended to nothing. Is this just like a common theme for Urban Decay that like, I'm just noticing now? This makes me sad because Urban Decay used to make some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I mean, we all had the Naked palette as our first. I don't really know what's going on. I wanted to show you guys how crappy this eye is blending. <laughs> this eye is blending out so bad. Oh my God. God, this is horrible, dude. Here I am like thinking, okay, I'm gonna try to do my makeup good. I'm actually gonna take the color Smolder and pray this will fix my problems. <laughs> Bitch, it's like barely there. Did I ever do a review on this palette? I don't know if I ever did. I gotta go in with an another brush to try to blend this. This is an actual nightmare for me. Not only is it cool tones, it barely blends. <laughs> and some shades blend into nothing. Jesus take the wheel. Jesus, take the brush. Great. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, and honestly, I think that's it for the colors in my crease because my actual lid is killing me from, like, going. Also, you guys, I absolutely forgot to credit Laura Lee. I got this video idea from her because I saw her put it up on her channel. I've honestly just been loving Laura's content lately. I'm loving the videos she's putting up. I love the videos with her niece as well, so shout out to Miss Laura Lee. You guys, I am so beyond disgusted by how this is turning out. I'm just gonna go right to our lid shade and I'm gonna go in with the shade Slanted. See, that works pretty nice. The shimmer shades are okay. Ew. This is trash. Yeah, so I agree with you guys. Hella disappointed in Urban Decay. Moving on to mascara. A lot of you guys said you didn't like the Better Than Sex mascara, and I was like shocked because I don't find it to be that bad. I just find the applicator to be very large. Nobody mentioned lashes that they didn't like, so I am gonna skip lashes and only leave mascara. Yeah, like, I mean, I don't really think it's that bad, but like the applicator is not my favorite at all. Oh, yeah. You know what? It's kind of getting clumpy in the corners. I love that some of you guys gave me a reason why you didn't like the product. Shout out to you. A lot of people were like, it clumps. And I just noticed in the very corner of this lash, it did get a slightly clumpy. So I kind of get what you're saying. All right, so let's move on to primer. A lot of you guys mentioned the professional, which I use in one of my more recent videos, which by the way, I am so sorry I uploaded like the same video uh, within six months of each other. I didn't even realize that, my bad. I feel like I filmed so many videos that like sometimes I forget that I didn't even realize I did that. So a lot of you guys hated the professional just because of how drying it was. I can absolutely agree with you. I do not like this at all. I can't wait to have horribly dry skin after this. And again, like, just because the product doesn't work for me doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you, blah, 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 all that. And for foundation, I was kinda shook 
a lot of you guys didn't like Fenty's foundations and they're kind of like some of my favorites like the one that came out last summer the hydrating one. Oh, I love that one for those of you that gave reasons a lot of you said you didn't like it because you felt like it was drying so I can totally understand that because usually if I am using the pro filter foundation I do mix in some type of like beauty oil with it something hydrating with it so we'll see how this goes I'm actually pretty interested to see because I haven't used this foundation in a very long time and I'm using shade 260 just in case anybody's wondering and I'm just gonna apply this all over and blend it out with a brush. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Brush and I really love this foundation brush that they put out. You guys know I'm not really a foundation brush girl. Like for the longest time on my channel, I never really used them. I've been really just loving the way foundation brushes have been blending out my skin. Who would have figured? Who would have figured, bitch? Oh, you guys, I don't know if you can see, but I have little red dots in my ears. I've been trying out seeding ear seeding. It's supposed to help with anxiety, if you have any pain anywhere, if you're trying to detox. I've been liking it. I definitely notice a little bit of a difference with my anxiety. I notice a little bit of a difference with my stomach aches because I actually get lots and lots and lots of stomach aches that are triggered from anxiety. I don't know if it's placebo, but who the hell cares, you know? Okay, so I feel like I have this on all over. Oh no, it's clinging to my dry spots. That's why I always mix this with something. I'm sorry, Rihanna. But this is a matte foundation and I do have dry skin. So like, you know, gotta keep that in mind. Like there's a difference between products that aren't meant for you and products that don't work. Like this eyeshadow doesn't work. This Fenty Beauty foundation is not meant for dry skin. So like there's difference. Thanks for doing me dirty, everyone. <laughs> Hey, I asked for it, right? It is what it is, huh? So, moving on to concealer, and I was so shook about this, you guys. I would say 99% of the concealers mentioned were the Tarte Shape Tape. You guys, I haven't used this in years, like a very, very long time. So let's see if I agree. A lot of you guys were saying it's too drying now compared to like the hydrating products that you use if you have dry skin. Let's get my beauty blender and let's blend this bitch out. Actually, I'm gonna use the Tati sponge to blend this out. So let's go. I mean, it just has such great coverage. Why is the coverage so good? Like it is drying compared to like what I'm used to using. So I get what you guys are trying to say, but damn, that coverage is good. I have a mattifying primer with a mattifying foundation and a mattifying concealer. Can you imagine how happy my skin is gonna be later? When I do my skincare tonight, I'm gonna have to do like extra, extra hydrating stuff. I can understand what you're saying about it being drying. I get it. Oh, you know what? It is kind of making me look a little bit older though, I feel like. Like I can see my fine lines a little bit more. Okay, so for setting powders, a lot of you guys said the Cody Airspun because it has flashback. I've never used it, I don't own it. I didn't wanna go out and buy it and then like literally throw it out because not a lot of my friends or family will use a setting powder, it would just go to waste. So the thing that I saw the most second was the NYX HD. The complaints on it were like flashback and just like too dry. So let's see how it feels. I'm just blending out any creasing. Oh my God, it just went all up my nose. How the hell did that happen? I hate this powder. I know what you guys are talking about. I hate it, I hate it so much. Oh my God, it's like everywhere. There's literally a cloud of powder everywhere. Oh my God, guys, it oxidized my face. It oxidized my under eyes. Look, look at how much lighter this under eye is. Oh, oh, and it made patchiness. Do you see that? Ew, ew, ew. The smell is atrocious. It's oxidizing my entire face. My under eyes don't even look bright anymore. I wish you could feel because my skin is like cactus. Cactus 2.0. Okay, let's finish up the under eyes. I'm just gonna smoke it out. I think I'm honestly just gonna smoke it out with this one I went on my lid with, Slanted. I honestly think that that's probably the best bet here. You know what? I would love to try a cool tone palette that's actually good. So leave me a comment down below 
because I know that there are a lot of you that love your cool tone palettes. I would love to try one out that's actually good. And I'm gonna run underneath my eyes with the Better Than Sex. This definitely is too big for my lower lashes for sure. Like it's hard for me to get in the inner corner. So I was sad to see this one on the list, but this is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. So we'll go ahead and use this. I actually think this bronzer is beautiful, but some of you guys were saying like it just didn't work on your skin and I get it like, you know, to each their own. I honestly don't even know how I'm gonna get anything to look good on the rest of my face because of how matte my skin is right now and just all my dry patches are really accentuated and my face absolutely oxidized. So that's really fun. <laughs> Damn, that NYX powder did me dirty. I think that and the Urban Decay is like the one I'm the most disappointed in honestly this bronzer is a little bit too dark too like this is probably more my summer shade we'll do a little nose contour just a eensy beansy so I'm going through the answers right now y'all forgot to mention blush someone goes any L'Oreal product look <laughs> with vomits. Some people will just say like Too Faced products. I love that, it's hilarious. I just think what Too Faced, they just have like a sketchy past, I feel like. There is no blushes, you guys. I am shook. A lot of you guys agreed with me. The Dandelion Twinkle from Benefit is like the worst highlighter. So let's add it back on, you can barely see it. Great, I look so gorge. For the lips, a lot of you guys said that you hated Kylie Cosmetics matte lipsticks, and I kind of have to agree with you. Like, honestly, as I'm getting older and like my skin is just getting drier and drier by the second, I haven't really been able to wear a lot of matte lipsticks. The only matte lipstick that I've really been liking is the Lay Monster Matte from House Labs. So yeah, I'm gonna now apply some matte lipstick. But a lot of people were saying the Kylie Cosmetics matte lipsticks were too drying. I have to agree. I look like an effing clown. And to finally finish this look off, a lot of you guys said you weren't a fan of the mattifying setting mist from Morphe. And I get it, mattifying on dry skin absolutely sucks, so I'm gonna apply it. Great, awesome. Ew, and there's like goo coming out of it. Can you guys see that, the lid? There's like goo coming out of it. It's like snot. Let's zoom you guys on out and get a look at this. Okay, guys, this is the finished look. It's awful. Cannot wait to take this off. For the most part, I agree with you guys. The only thing I would say is like, actually don't mind the Fenty Beauty foundation when it's mixed with a hydrating product. And I also do like the banana bronzer or the butter bronzer. <laughs> Banana, okay, yeah. I think my most hated product out of everything here was the NYX setting powder, the HD, absolutely awful. And the Urban Decay Smokey was trash. Like, honestly, I mean that in the nicest way too. Like, it's bad, like it's, it is what it is, it's bad. If they released it now, I feel like people would be ripping it apart. And I also kind of wanna like do more of this. I wanna like test out more like old palettes that we thought were amazing. I know I just did a video on like that, but I think just like kind of revisiting that idea on certain eyeshadows would be cool. But yeah, oh my God, I have lipstick on my teeth. Oh my God, look, the snot is here. Ew, from the Morphe setting spray. What is that? And look, it left a dot. Can you see? It left a dot. This is going right in the trash, honestly. Well, you guys, after that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Let me know if you guys want me to do your favorite makeup, because I feel like that would be fun to do as well. I love y'all. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.